When we sleep, we put ourselves in a very vulnerable position by cutting off almost all of our connections to the outside world. Naturally, waking up in the middle of the night to find your body frozen and pinned down by an invisible weight is the stuff that ghost stories are made of. The scientific term for this is sleep paralysis, and the truly terrifying part is that it can happen to you tonight. You probably don't realize it, but you are actually physically paralyzed for large chunks of the night. This state is known as muscle atonia, and it happens during rapid eye movement, which is also known as REM sleep. It's the deepest part of the sleep cycle that produces the most vivid dreams. It's thought that we evolved this temporary paralysis because otherwise we might act out our dreams and that could be extremely dangerous and tremendously embarrassing. During REM sleep, which happens in periods lasting 90 to 120 minutes, your breathing also becomes faster and highly irregular. It's not a great part of the sleep cycle to interrupt. Unfortunately, uh, poor sleep habits, exhaustion, shift work, and jet lag can shake you awake during REM sleep. According to researchers at the Anomalistic Psychology Research Unit at the University of London, when you're in the groggy, half-awake state, fully waking up from REM sleep is notoriously difficult. Breathing feels laborious because it's happened at an irregular pace, and you are keenly aware that you cannot move. As panic sets in, it only increases the feeling that you can't breathe. And yes, this is good to know. But why do we see a bedwettingly terrifying presence when this happens? Studies have shown that hallucinations often accompany physical terror. In the journal Sleep Medicine Reviews, researchers combed through 35 studies of sleep paralysis from the past 50 years and grouped the hallucinations into three terrifying types. The presence of an intruder, pressure on the chest, sometimes accompanied by physical and or sexual assault experiences, and out-of-body experiences. The reason? Hallucinations are remnants of the dream state. So even though you're still awake, your still dreaming brain compensates by filling in the gaps and creating a dangerous presence to explain why you can't move. Most commonly, the presence takes the form of an old hag, which is where the term haggard comes from to describe somebody who looks like they're tired and didn't get a good night's sleep. A nasty troll or a humanoid creature with no discernible features that looks like a shadow or someone in a jet black green man suit. And if this isn't enough to keep you up well past your bedtime tonight, no one really knows why we specifically see these three visitors. In fact, they have been recorded across multiple cultures throughout history, in places as varied as Scandinavia, uh, Newfoundland, Korea, the American South, and Turkey. Folklore blame the experience on an evil spirit, witch, or creature that sits on a person's chest and holds them down while they sleep. There is even a school of thought that sleep paralysis could be the explanation for people who are super, super positive that aliens abducted them from their beds. Luckily, the sensation passes as you ease out of the dream state, and it is not thought to cause any long-term harm, at least not physically. Psychologically, though, sleep paralysis can mess with your head long after you get out of bed. The types of distress people experience after having an episode include sensing unseen presences, feeling like death is imminent, having a heightened fear of threat or assault, and generally ruminating on the episode. Even though this phenomenon only occurs in 8% of people with the highest rate among stressed out students and can be staved off by a healthy sleep cycle, no one is ever truly safe from the old hag. Good night. Sweet dreams.